good everybody happy texture any day anyway always i am your main girl mel and oh my is it ever a wash day i've done some pretty experimental things to my hair as you can see here uh, it's also been a week since i last washed so i'm in desperate need of some therapy and i've also recently done a big shopping haul and when i say i i mean we my sister and me recently did some sephora shopping because the spring sale just passed and it's not that we need any new products, but I mean, we need new products. And so this is going to be a first impressions wash day. But more importantly, I'm gonna share with you how I plan my wash day, right? Like how do I know what I really need? So um, there's a lot to share, I have a lot of products. This may be one wash day, this may actually likely be two wash days. I don't know, you're just gonna have to stay tuned for the video. So let's get crack a lacking start analyzing and realizing that I never should have opened the video this way. I am scaring the kids. I'm scaring the kids. Oh. All right, so I am physically and mentally ready to wash. Physically, I've got my bathing suit on. I'm gonna take you in the shower to show you this pink hair color wax wash out of my hair. When I have not washed my hair in a while, and I have this much product on my hair, I want to go in with a nice clarifying shampoo, not just for my strands, but for my scalp. Oh, my scalp needs a lot. And since scalp is skin, if we think about a regular skin routine, first you cleanse and then you exfoliate. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I have this cleanser. This is from Form Beauty, which is a brand I've never heard of, but I was browsing through the Sephora aisles and this is in their clean beauty section. It's a clarifying shampoo. It's got a pointed tip nozzle and it gently removes layers of buildup while aloe and glycerin, glycerine attract moisture like a magnet formulated without sulfates. Very interesting. Apply to scalp, work through hair, Rinse. Okay, so right off the bat, my first impression with this is it definitely clarified my hair. Like, I really feel like I need some serious deep conditioning after this. A clarifying shampoo is not usually one that is moisturizing. It really does feel like it cleanses everything off of my hair. There is no color left over. And the smell is not overpowering at all. It's very light. It just smells very natural, herbly, almost... It has a light, like, lavender, maybe even is it like a little bit of tea tree oil kind of scent. It's very light and natural. Um, let's see how my scalp and everything feels afterwards. I also want to try exfoliating my scalp with a new exfoliator. So this pack right here came with a bunch of different products from Briogeo, some of their best sellers that I get to try in little sample sizes. So I love that. I got this. And one of the products I'm really excited for that it has the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Now this one smells like tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, but also like peppermint. Now Briogeo is also a clean beauty brand and I've been really interested to try this because I've never used a charcoal product for my hair and scalp. Wow, that was more of like a, a full on shampoo than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be more like just like a scrub, but that really lathered. That could definitely be used on its own. My hair is feeling so squeaky right now. I'm in a little bit of some despair. I need repair. I'm going to use the Briogeo Don't Despair repair conditioner which I have been dying to try this is a deep conditioning mask formulated with sweet almond oil argan oil vitamin b5 and biotin to revitalize dry damaged hair and it doesn't have any sulfates of course but no silicones so I'm very excited to see how this will also help to detangle my hair because in my experience nothing gives slip like silicone. Just a quick tip, if you have really tangled hair, use water. So I added a little bit of water to help me detangle a little bit and you can see how it gets a little bit bubbly. 
Now these little bubbles are gonna help to create space in my hair. It's gonna make detangling easier. So I do like to add water if I'm having trouble detangling. Definitely helps to loosen up the knots a lot more. Okay, hole A. After a 20 minute detangling wrestle match and after a week of not washing, hold on. And you know, my hair is feeling conditioned, but I am a little bit worried on the moisture side. I'm not sure if this is enough moisture for what my hair needed given the wash day and the two shampoos. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, pretty much finish off this 30 ml bottle of the mask. Yeah. Really just, just, a, just a tiny bit more. That's all I have left. And I'll just work this through and then let this sit for 10 minutes and then be on my way. Why does it feel tangly? It feels slightly tangled again. And now that I've rinsed out the conditioner, definitely needs some moisture. I'm gonna spread some of the Farewell Frizz Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And that is my prep product. That is my base. Contains a blend of rosehip, argan, and coconut oils to effectively tame frizz, combat dryness, and maintain soft, shiny hair with a lightweight finish. It is also ideal for helping detangle wet hair. I don't usually use products like this. This is a milk, which means it's very, very light. Something like this, like a spray leave-in conditioner, is especially good if you have fine hair. Next up, it's time to style. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair while it is still nice and wet. Okay, so moving on to stylers, I definitely need to apply a real cream on top of this if I want my hair to last. I need to supply enough moisture. And I have a few different products I can apply. I can put the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Creme. Sounds fancy. What's an avocado? Avocado, don't say it like that. Or I can apply the Curl Charisma Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. So if I'm reading what these products do, the Leave-In Defining Cream is infused with rice amino acids, avocado oil, quinoa extract, and tomato fruit ferment extract to enhance moisture and definition for soft, bouncy, and vibrant curls. Let's do a little swatch. Okay. I like the smell of these products. It smells like an amaretto. Okay. Very silky, creamy. I'm just gonna apply a small little bit at first. You know, before you apply a new product all over your head, if you're not even sure if you're gonna like it, or how it's gonna to take to your hair, just apply it to a designated section. Definitely gives a lot of slip. Take it one step further. I wanna see how it defines my curls with that in. Okay, now the custard is a thick, rich, and creamy moisturizing styler that harnesses the conditioning benefits of flaxseed oil and shea butter and the coil nurturing power of chia seed and rice amino acids. This complex of rich moisturizers leaves even the driest of coils soft and supple, while enhancing definition and providing flexible styling control. Having them side by side in my hair, definitely the custard is more moisturizing. It is heavier, it has heavier ingredients in it, but I am gonna to choose to use the coil custard over the leave-in defining cream because even though they both have protein and I don't think I need much more protein right now, uh, this one is definitely more moisturizing so it'll give more of a balance. So we're just gonna add a little bit of that. As per usual, I'm using my Denman brush to define. Now because I have my routine pretty much down, like I, Pretty much always use my Denman brush to define my curls. This is the method that I've constantly been using and it works pretty much every time. I want to use these products the same way. That way I can compare them to how my usual wash day would go. So that's a tip. If you're trying out new products, use them the way it makes sense to you, the way that it works for your routine before going ahead and experimenting with them, maybe different ways. Now one thing that's very challenging when you are trying new products as well is Figuring out your ratios, like how much of each product are you supposed to use? 
Now, a while back, I did create a video on how to determine how much product to use. And with that method, you're taking the density of your hair into consideration. But you need to consider what type of product it is as well, right? So because this is a pretty thick, heavy custard, I don't need a lot of it. If I was using a lighter cream, I'd probably use more. But because of its consistency and the richness of this product, you saw the little amount that I took. If I take this section and wrap my finger around it, that was the amount. So based on my density, that's how much I applied. That's always a good place to start as a rule of thumb. Either way, always ease into it, right? Start with a little bit and you can always add more. Okay, and that's it. The curls are looking pretty juicy. They were clumping together nicely. They look nice and shiny. You know, I have good definition, good ringlets. And just because of that, my hair will hold its shape pretty well. But I do usually like to add gel on top just to give it a little extra fortification and a little extra hold for when I'm blow drying and for longer lasting results throughout the week. And I have two different gels here. And now to determine which one. Hmm. I want to take a look at the Form Sculpt Gel. This is for enhanced texture. It helps prevent frizz with flexible hold, which is nice. And if I take a look at the ingredients, the very last ingredient here is wheat amino acids. So if I compare this one to the Briogeo gel, there is so much more in here. There's hydrolyzed quinoa, keratin amino, hydrolyzed corn, hydrolyzed wheat, hydrolyzed soy proteins. There's a lot of strengthening in here and I'm afraid my hair just doesn't need it. Now part of me wants to keep it a full Briogeo styling date to keep it all in the family but I also don't want to set myself up for failure. I'm afraid of too much protein. I don't need it. My curls are already looking really balanced. So I mean, if I take a look at this gel, it's like kind of, it's like kind of goopy. I'm going to add just a little bit to this one side of my hair, just because I'm honestly not sure how it's going to turn out. I don't want to stress my hair out. We're going to compare it to the Form Sculpt Gel. So if I take a look here. Oh, Jesus. Why does it look like that? Um, that's weird. Is that normal? It's literally curdled right out of the bottle. Hold on. That is a really weird consistency. It kind of looks like throw up. That was disturbing. My concern is that it's gonna get really like clumpy and flaky when I'm done. I have never seen a product do that. And I didn't even mix it with other products. It's just like naturally curdled. Now before mixing products on your hair, it's always a good idea to try mixing them on your hand. So I'm taking a little bit of this custard first. And then I'm putting a tiny bit of the curl gel, which is like naturally curdled and mixing it together. And it actually became really smooth and creamy on my hand. So it appears that they mix well. If it were to curdle and basically look like the gel without mixing, then your products do not mix. But, um, what an interesting product. You know what? We're going to go for it. I'm going to apply this all over my hair. I'm sorry if that's turning you off. It's, it's, it's so strange. So let's go for it. Just a uh, little crab hands, a little crab hands so that I can coat the bottom of the curls. Also separate any big clumps from the Denman brush. The curls are looking pretty damn good. Taking a little bit more. Listen up, scrunch. And that's that. Uh, I'm going to let this dry. I'll air dry a bit, finish my makeup, diffuse. Stay tuned for the final review. Well, it won't be final because I'm going to update you as the days go on, but you know what I mean. Stay tuned for the dry results. We're dry. I finished my makeup and I got dressed in the meantime. It's something a little bit cuter. Slash also I dirtied my other top. But anyways. I wanted to share what it looks like in its cast, so I haven't scrunched it out yet. And it has quite some hold, but it is very flexible. I can feel it's going to soften out very quickly. 
And I mean, it looks good. It looks really nice and defined now. The only thing is I would often scrunch out with an oil to seal everything in, but the more I touch and play with my hair, it feels a little bit residue-y. Like not necessarily greasy, but there's, there's a little bit of a residue. So before I go in and add products, I'm not going to be going out. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. So I don't need to seal this in. I just want to scrunch and fluff this out and see what it looks like on its own. I also didn't purchase any oils or anything because I have way too many oils and serums. So until we get to that point in the wash week when I have to add a little bit of oil or serum, we're just going to leave it at this. So without further ado... Okay, but is it just me or does this section, which was the section that I added the Briogeo Curl Gel. Remember, I only added it to this section right here. Why does this section look so bad versus the rest of the hair? It definitely doesn't look as good as its competitive side. I mean, other than that, I like the look of the result. I wouldn't say it's totally lightweight. You know, it is a little bit heavy, probably from the custard, but it is no longer crunchy, but definitely leaves a residue. So what do we do now? One thing you can try to do is absorb some of those oils. So I'm gonna take my microfiber towel. Now I wouldn't use just any towel for this, but you wanna use something that's smooth, so it's not gonna give you any frizz, but it's still gonna be a little bit absorbent. This one's from The Perfect Hair Care on Amazon. And I may just scrunch my hair a little bit with something like this. You know, if you wanna try using like a paper towel that's absorbent, you don't wanna be rubbing the hair, but if you can maybe scrunch out a little bit of that excess oil. And if not, I mean, it's really not the worst thing ever. Hopefully it will ensure that your hair stays moisturized. So I'm just gonna live with this now and see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep with it, live with it, and see how it holds up and how it feels then. Stay tuned and good night. I regret to inform you all that this wash day, which I thought was okay because let's be honest, it looks great, but we did discuss that it doesn't, it doesn't feel great which I at first concluded to be just some product buildup, maybe using too much product. Let me tell you, it definitely was too much of something, but it wasn't that there was too much product. It's that there was too much protein and not enough moisture. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I told you guys. I was reading through all the ingredients and the reason why I stayed away from the Briogeo Styling Gel was because it was also so high in protein. So I tried to balance it out by finishing it off with that form gel that only had a little bit of like amino acids in the final ingredient. And here's the deal. The products on their own, so far I still don't have a full opinion on them, but all together and coming from someone that likes protein and whose hair needs protein, it was too much. Now today is day three, I should mention that, because yesterday was day two, I didn't refresh, I didn't do anything to my hair, I just let it be. It still felt that residue, but there was no changes, nothing interesting until today. Now today, I feel out my hairs, and I don't really notice much of that residue on my hands now, the thing that I'm noticing is how brittle my hair feels. So brittle that if I try to play with it, let's just pick a random guy here. The hair is snapping off in some places. They are lacking moisture. So now that I've diagnosed my problem, let's figure out a solution, shall we? And for the sake of trying more products, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. This way I can wash away the excess of protein and then start fresh with my stylers. And you know, depending on how my hair feels tomorrow after using these, 
I'm gonna give another go at some more styling products that I got on this haul. So we're not done yet. And I don't necessarily blame the products just yet. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the shower to review these. All right, so let's give this shampoo a try. Now I really don't need a crazy cleanse. My scalp isn't dirty. My scalp actually feels really good for my last wash. I had no problems, no hitchies. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, it smells like a combination of, you ever had the ear infection medicine that tastes like bananas? So banana medicine and, but like a side of sunscreen. It's not bad, <laughs> it just, it smells tropical. So, whoa! I'm pouring that back in. Whoa, whoa, this is so liquidy. Oh my, oh my God. Okay, well, I, I have a lot, but I'm just gonna focus on my scalp. Typically when a shampoo is clear, it's more cleansing. It's not always the case, but it doesn't feel dry though, which is good. Okay, so finally, let's add some moisture, some conditioning with the Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Conditioner. Super duper. Pleasant extraction. Let's hope the application is better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. So far, really good. Did Briogeo really do something with this one? I'm really impressed with the slip. My hair is instantly feeling better. So I'm gonna leave this in for some time. I'm gonna finish up my shower duties. I'm gonna get out of the shower do a little bit of my skincare routine, and then I'm gonna rinse out the conditioner in the sink and follow up with styling, depending on how it feels. It feels so soft. It feels really soft and hydrated from that conditioner. I'm starting to have hope again. This is exciting. Okay, so I'm back. I'm in a really good mood after that wash, and I'm now going to rinse out the conditioner. And by the way, before anyone comes to me saying, Mel, you left it in for a really long time, and Mel, the directions, because I always say, read the directions. The directions say, leave up to two minutes before rinsing. Look, sometimes you need to know the rules before you can break them. And I know the rules. This wasn't a deep conditioner. Yes, it was very conditioning. And I'm, you know what, let's see what it's feeling like now. And so I left it in a little bit longer than it said, but my hair also needed the hydration. And to follow up, I'm going to follow with products that all have proteins so it's gonna have that balance and my hair feels so soft so now I'm gonna give her a good rinse and I'm gonna follow up with some Briogeo products because I feel like now we're, we're on the right track and maybe that weird feeling that I had came from the form gel we'll find out now I'm gonna use only Briogeo stylers to really see what's good I'm gonna spread some of the farewell frizz milk leave-in conditioning spray and that is my prep product, that is my base. I'm going to follow up and use the Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. Excuse my French, it's a creme. And after I've worked this through, I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of the custard because the Leave-In Defining Cream has more humectant ingredients. Glycerin is the second ingredient. This should provide more hydration. And then I wanna seal that in with the custard, which is more of a heavier buttery product. But just a touch of this, because I already have the other cream. And then we're gonna lock in that shape using the Briogeo Curl Charisma Gel. So these are all part of the same line. They're all Curl Charisma, and I'm very excited to see how they all work together. Products should work well together if they're from the same brand, and we're now going to figure out if that is the case. Oh, it gives a very weird instant seaweed feel to the hair. Some products give a weird feeling on the hair, especially products with hold, like gel and mousse. I find sometimes once they're on the hair and the hair is wet, it feels weird, but it's a completely different story once the hair is dry. So I'm not freaking out. I'm not judging until she's dry. So same as before, I'm gonna let this air dry just a little bit and then I will go ahead with my diffuser and then hopefully we can give a better review. We'll see you soon. Okay, 
It's a whole nother story. I only air dried a little bit. And when I say a little bit, it was like the amount of time it took to make and eat a snack. And then I hover diffused the rest of the way. Now automatically I can tell these results are so different from my previous wash day. So the form gel definitely had more hold, whereas the curl charisma gel, and it says it has a lightweight and flexible hold. I would say so. Let's fluff her out and see how big she can get, but it does automatically feel lighter than my other wash, which I was feeling a little weighed down. So the residue is not nearly as bad, but after playing with your hair, there still is that slight, it's almost, it's like a textured, almost like a waxy feel. That's what it feels like. It's kind of waxy. Proteins and product act as film formers. So it does create that cast and that protection over your hair, right? They also protect your hair from the elements and from heat styling. And it's not nearly as bad this wash day, but there still is a little bit of that producty feel. However, all in all, my hair is so much softer this wash day. So hello balance of the be gentle be kind wash day duo listen i'm getting the full size of these guys so if you do have very dry hair and also low porosity hair i think this would be really good for you as someone with high porosity hair oh it really sucked in that moisture especially if you have finer hair i would put it on quick detangle which should be quick because the slip the slip very rarely am I impressed with the slip, the slipperiness of a silicone-free conditioner. Super impressed. It's nice that these are curly girl friendly options. They are also clean beauty if that's what you're looking out for. And I would say that these are pretty great for all hair types. And if you like banana, these smell delicious, but don't snack on it. I know these kind of look like little, no, it's fine. And unless your hair is really damaged, I would not use the Don't Despair Repair line. Look, I bought this big shampoo, which is still sealed. I didn't even use it. I was planning to use it on my wash day after clarifying, because again, this is a strengthening line. It's got protein in it, and today was just not that day. And after that moisturizing wash, I really think that the Curl Charisma line gave my hair that perfect balance. It's defined, it still has hold and then styling wise it is also low frizz and looking fire now i didn't finish this off yet i didn't seal everything in if you are going to be going outside and if you are in humid climates i would definitely seal this in with an oil and if you're not sure what type of products you should be using depending on the weather i will link the video that you need to see here but this has been it. Like this has been my thought process. I hope you enjoyed it. This is what goes through my head, how I analyze my hair and then try to treat the needs. This definitely goes to show you that when you try something once and it doesn't work, try it again, switch things around. I really think that I'd use this combo again. I think I got it. Oh, wait. And if you are not sure if you are going to like a product and if it's going to work for you, then always check if they have samples or travel sizes. That way you don't have to invest so much in something that you don't end up liking. Now I also know that in this video, I talked a lot about protein and moisture balance. And if you're feeling confused and you need to know more on that, check out my protein and moisture video. And also check out my porosity video to figure out what your hair porosity is. Part of the reason why these products worked well for me is because I am a higher porosity. My hair does need protein, which is why I did so well with these products. So if your hair is on the lighter side, more damaged side like me, I do think you will really like these curl products. Peace. I am looking my best I've ever looked. Okay, yeah, let's get right, let's get right to it. Now I know I'm, I'm looking really good right now. Like my hair is pretty cute. This is a very fashionable outfit. I I don't even have my moisturizer or sunscreen on and I need to, I just. <sighs> Thank you for taking so much of my money. Go ahead, bitchy, and then we'll go. <gasps> I can't take the hair on me. Bye.